Hello friends, welcome to the Gradient channel. We are continuing the topic of semi-automatic welding. If you haven't watched the first part, we recommend you to watch it. The link is in the description. Let's talk about welding with flux cord wire today. The goal of this video is to demonstrate the process of welding with self-sheltered flux cord wire, otherwise known as flux cord wire, and to show the basic skills for the job. Flux cord wire increases the mobility of the welder as no gas cylinder is required and also allows welding in hard-to-reach places and has a number of other advantages. It's important to note that this video is intended for novice welders and professionals will likely not learn anything new. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Here we go! Let's start by choosing a semi-automatic machine. In the previous video, we chose the StarMig semi-automatic welding machine. Let me remind you that the device operates in MIGMOG, MMA and LIFTIG modes. This machine is designed for semi-automatic welding with wire from 0.6 to 1 mm at a current of 30 to 160 amperes. The wire feed speed is adjustable from 1 to 10 meters per minute. The machine can be equipped with a 1 and 5 kg coil. To operate the machine, you will need the machine itself, a torch, a grounding terminal or mass, and flux cord welding wire. Let's start with the choice of wire diameter. The choice of wire diameter depends on the thickness of the metal being welded. For beginners, a table will also help. The settings of the machine will also depend on these parameters. We'll talk about them later. For welding, we chose a flux cord wire with a diameter of 0.8 mm from gradient. Before connecting the machine, remember about welder protection. Chameleon mask, crags and special clothes are the perfect option. Next, let's prepare the workplace and our workpiece. Clean the weld zones 20 to 25 mm wide from the joint with a metal brush. If the workpiece is heavily contaminated, vinegar or solvent can be used. It's time to connect the device. Connect the torch to the Euro connector on minus. Connect the mass to plus. Flux cord wire is used for welding in direct polarity. Put the torch on minus, the mass on plus. Next, install the flux cord wire in the feeder. Be sure to remove the nozzle and the end piece. Pull the wire to the torch. Cut off the excess wire and leave 5-10 mm. The device is ready for use and you can proceed to the settings. MIGMAG welding mode. We will adjust the current and wire feed speed using the table, but you always need to make adjustments in the process. Therefore, before the main seam, we recommend working with a test weld and checking whether the settings are correct. The torch mode is two-stroke, 2T. We talked about the modes in the previous video. 2T mode for short seams, 4T for long seams. Start welding. We recommend using non-stick agents to improve the quality of the seam and the wear resistance of burning consumables. Let's start welding. Leave the welding wire at the level 5-10 mm. The arc ignites when the button is pressed and the wire touches the workpiece. The wire is also fed after pressing the button. To extinguish the arc, release the button and lift the torch. It is important to keep the correct distance between the nozzle and the weld pool and also move the torch evenly. The angle of the torch is selected depending on the situation and we recommend holding the torch with two hands, one hand on the button, the other supporting the jib. The main goal is to mix the molten metal together. To increase the width of the sim, make circular movements during welding. At the end of the weld, move the torch to the side of the deposited metal and remove it. This will prevent the weld from creating a so-called crater and will not damage it. Finally, clean the weld with a brush. After all, this type of welding leaves slag behind. With time, you will choose a welding style and semi-automatic settings that are convenient and comfortable for you. And when you are confident in making this sim, you can move on to other types of sims. Friends, 
Thanks for watching this video. We hope it was useful for you. Please subscribe to our channel and other social networks. We will be happy to communicate and hear your thoughts in the comments. See you soon.